today I'm going to be doing a video that is a little bit different from my channel, but I'm really excited about it. This video is all about Mary Kay makeup. My cousin Casey just recently became a consultant for them and sent me some samples to try out. So I personally have never tried Mary Kay makeup until today, so y'all are going to get a little mini review from me about these products. Also, if y'all watch this video and y'all are interested in any of the products, I will have Casey's link where y'all can go help her out and order from her. So if y'all want to know how I got this look and learn a little bit about Mary Kay makeup, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face. Now this is not a Mary Kay primer. Some products that I'm going to be using aren't Mary Kay, but everything revolves around the Mary Kay products. So this is just a primer and it's by NYX and it's the Angel Veil Primer. My skin has been so combination and just it won't make up its mind lately. It's been really oily, it's been really dry. So I'm going to stick with the Angel Veil because it's kind of moisturizing but not too much. And right now my skin is dry. Before I get started, as always, I'm gonna moisturize my lips using the Nivea Lip Butter Raspberry Rose. Now I'm going to apply my foundation and I'm taking the Mary Kay Matte Wear Liquid Foundation. So I have the shade Ivory and this is what it looks like. It's just a little squeezy bottle, which is better than it being an open top and having to dump it on your hand. So I actually like this packaging a lot. So like I said, I'm in the shade Ivory. And I don't know if it's gonna be my shade. Right now I'm really pale. And I look at this and I'm like, dang, that's white, but Girl, you white. This foundation is for combination skins. It's supposed to reduce the appearance of fine lines and also cover up any imperfections that you have on your skin. So if you have acne or acne scars like I do, then it's supposed to cover that right up. Whenever I'm applying it, it's really creamy and smooth. It doesn't have a bad smell to it at all and I love the way that it's applying. By the way, I'm using a damp beauty blender. So my skin before this was really red. I don't know if you can tell how red it is right there, but it covered up all that redness. So it does have a really nice coverage to it. So the first layer of foundation is definitely a medium coverage, but it is buildable. So if you wanted full coverage, then you can just go ahead and do another layer. I like the coverage that I have right now. You can still see a little bit of my imperfections, but it looks very natural. So I'm gonna leave it like this. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and conceal my under eyes and I'm using the Mary Kay concealer and again, I am in the shade Ivory. Is that right? Is that right? Yes, it's Ivory 1. I'm really excited to try out this concealer because I always go back to the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer because that is my ride or die concealer. So I'm excited to see if I like this one. Also, this concealer comes in seven shades, so there's a wide range, especially for concealers. I feel like seven shades is a lot. Also, this concealer is waterproof, and I believe that the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is waterproof also, so we'll see which one I love better. That's really yellow. Maybe it will blend out better though. But it's really creamy, and it feels not too thick, but a nice consistency. Oh, it blends out nice. It's not, whenever I put it on, I saw how yellow it was. It kind of freaked me out, but it blends out really nice. It's really easy to blend and it's really creamy. So I love that. You can see a little bit of yellow. I guess I'm just not used to the yellow toned concealers, but I really do love the coverage. Something that I noticed is that this eye is creasing a little bit since I didn't set it right away. So if you do end up getting this concealer, I would recommend putting it on and then setting it right after and make sure that you look up so there's no creasing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to mix the banana shade and this shade right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and off camera do my eyebrows. I'm just using this Maybelline Brow and Fill Duo. Okay, brows are on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prep 
prime my eyelids to get ready for eyeshadow and I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. So after I prime my eyes, I'm just going to take a neutral color, really any powder. I'm taking this one from the Kat Von D palette, and I'm going to put that on top of that eyelid primer, just because this will make it easier to blend the eyeshadows out. Isn't my cup cute? Keeps it nice and cold. Shout out to Swell. Y'all should sponsor me. I like y'all's cups. Okay, so the eyeshadows that I received from Casey are these three right here. So I have a little idea what look I'm going to do. So first I'm gonna take this eyeshadow right here and it is called Truffle. And it is a beautiful brownish red shade. And what I'm going to do with that is put that all over my lid. So I'm just taking this lid brush right here and I'm packing that color in and I'm pressing it onto my lid. These eyeshadows are only $8, which I think is a good price. Okay, so now I'm going to take this shade right here, which is the shade Espresso, and it's just a really dark brown shade, and I'm going to put this in my crease. And I'm taking just a blending brush from Morphe. These eyeshadows are really easy to blend out, which I love. I love these eyeshadows. I'm really impressed with them. They are super easy to blend and the color is really nice and really pigmented. I'm just going back in with my blending brush and making sure that I don't have any harsh lines. This eyeshadow right here, which is a shimmery white and it is called Crystalline. So this shade looks like this. So I'm gonna use this to highlight my brow bone and also my inner corner. Oh, that's really pretty. go back in with Espresso, which was just that really dark brown shade, and I'm going to put that underneath my lower lash line. And I'm taking a tiny pencil brush to do this. To blend that out even more, I'm taking a bigger and fluffier pencil brush and just going to blend it. I'm taking it into that eyeshadow up there just so it all flows together, if that makes sense. Before I finish off my eyes, I'm going to finish off my face. So I'm going to take the shade and light palette from Kat Von D and I'm going to go ahead and contour my cheeks a little bit. To contour my cheeks, I'm taking my favorite contour brush, which is the e.l.f. blending brush. I think it is eight or six dollars online and it is the best contouring brush I have used. So the shade that I'm going to take to contour is this shade right here. I'm 
gonna take that same shade and I'm gonna bronze my temples a little bit and also my jawline. I'm gonna take what's left on my brush and just take that down the ridge of my nose. For blush, I'm taking this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Classic. And it's just an everyday pink shade. It's really pretty. And I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. For highlight, I'm taking this Statement Skin Highlighting Crayon from So Susan. I'm just going to put this on the high point of my cheek. And I'm going to take my finger and blend that out. To make that highlight a little bit more intense, I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Sandstone and I'm taking my e.l.f. blush brush and I'm just going to be using those top two shades right there and placing that right on top of that So Susan highlight and it'll just make it more intense if you can tell. I'm also going to take those two colors and put that down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. To finish off my eyes, I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply some mascara. And I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm also gonna put that mascara on my lower lashes. For lipstick, I'm taking this Mary Kay Cream Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Dusty Rose. Let me show you how cute this little sample is. So it comes with a little pot of your lipstick. Focus. It comes with a little pot of your lipstick and then a little doe foot applicator to apply it, which I thought was cute. Oh, it's really smooth and creamy. It feels really moisturizing. So that lipstick feels so amazing on the lips. It's like putting a lip butter on. It's really moisturizing and really smooth. And they don't smell bad. They honestly just smell like lipstick, like what you would think a lipstick smells like. This color is gorgeous. I usually wouldn't pair it with this smoky of an eye, but it is gorgeous. And I looked online and they have plenty of shades to choose from. So this is the finished look. I love the way that it turned out. The eyes are what really stands out to me. The only thing that I have a little bitty tiny problem with is the concealer. What I'm noticing about it is it's starting to crease. I don't know if y'all could tell, but it is starting to crease. So just if you get that concealer, make sure to set it right away, which I did not do. But I'm going to keep playing around with it to see if I like it. But everything else I am obsessed with. The foundation set really good. It's, it's the perfect coverage. It's set right. I'm obsessed. The eyeshadow was probably my favorite. So if you get a chance, go order your eyeshadows in order from Casey's website. Casey, thank you so much for sending me these samples. I love playing with makeup. It was fun branching out to try a different brand. If y'all are interested in any of these products, then I will leave Casey's link down below and y'all make sure that y'all order from her to help her out. Thank y'all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.